Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you are all having a really great evening thus far. And so I'm here with the latest in terms of what is happening for Tropical Storm Brett. Uh, and there's also Tropical Depression number 4 expected to become Cindy by tonight. But over in sections of the Caribbean and Northern South America, there is a lot of activity uh, taking place. And so I'll be delving into all of what is happening in this update. So before I do so, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and we are starting off with the Caribbean. We can see here that there is quite a bit of activity noted across sections of the region and also in the vicinity of uh, North, Northern South America, as I said. So lots of showers and thunderstorms developing this afternoon, lots of moisture and instability in the atmosphere. And so all this convective activity is likely going to be resulting in or likely resulting in a lot of heavy rainfall across some areas, uh, sections of Colombia, Venezuela, to Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana, and Trinidad. And then uh, over into Central America, most areas are likely experiencing rainfall across different uh, countries, parts of the Yucatan, Belize, going to Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, especially in the vicinity of Panama, there's a lot of activity. Uh, there is also some of that activity pushing into sections of Jamaica, as well as the Cayman Islands. So sections of Jamaica are likely experiencing some uh, afternoon rainfall, maybe with some thunderstorm activity as well. And we also see some activity developing in the vicinity of of Cuba and heading to Hispaniola and sections of the Bahamas. Going over into the east, for most areas, there isn't much. But again, Brett is closing in uh, tonight. So there's going to be a lot of heavy rainfall as well as those strong winds and uh, even some uh, coastal inundation expected from the cyclone. Let's go on to a closer view. To a closer view at it on satellite here we have it and uh it is not looking the most excellent right now because that shear has begun taking its toll we'll look at the shear map very shortly but uh we can see here that those other bands have begun affecting uh some areas going from sections of guadalupe southward to the grenadines uh we have that layer of cloudiness moving in so conditions will only continue to deteriorate from this point onwards and it is going to worsen so let's look at the latest cone and we can see here that uh most areas that were on watches are now under tropical storm warning. So tropical storm warning is in effect for Dominica, St. Lucia, Martinique, Barbados, as well as St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So as I said, uh, going into tonight and even into tomorrow, these conditions will only worsen and the hurricane watch remains in effect for St. Lucia, uh, meaning that hurricane conditions will be possible. So it's not too far from hurricane intensity. It has peaked uh, with winds of 70 miles per hour, just four miles per hour short of being a cat one. So it's likely that uh, some of those wind gusts now it's currently sustaining 65 miles per hour so some of those wind gusts are probably up to hurricane intensity hence that hurricane watch so some uh, hurricane conditions of course nothing too crazy and the main problem with this is going to be the rainfall so all the areas that i listed for tropical storm warning are likely going to be feeling the worst of bread but of course for surrounding islands such as uh, guadalupe going northward and even in the vicinity of grenada uh, those other bands from bread can induce some rainfall as well so uh, uh, at times the rainfall can be heavy and intermittent or even moderate or light and intermittent uh, there but the most action is expected within the areas under the various warnings so uh, Brett isn't going to be lasting in the area too long because as we head into tomorrow morning, it will be making its way out of the region. However, in the night is just the worst time to be uh, dealing with tropical cyclone, the effects of a tropical cyclone. And unfortunately, that is going to be the case for the most part. And so I'm just imploring you all to stay safe as best as you can to ride out the storm. And I'm really hoping for the best. I know that there will likely be some damage, but let's hope it won't, uh, it won't be anything crazy. And so I'm just hoping that all lives will be protected as we go throughout the rest of today and into tomorrow. And now going on to the model intensity guidance here, this green area uh, represents tropical storm first wind. So notice that all of these models are showing that steady decrease in intensity of breadth as the wind shear and also some dry air take their toll on the cyclone. So it is going to be entering a region of very strong wind shear in the Caribbean and that will just rip it apart as it enters the basin. Uh, and it is uh, it has already 
already begun weakening. So uh, it's not going to be strengthening anymore. That is highly unlikely at this point onwards. So guys, that is what is happening with Brett. And uh, even as we go on to the latest uh, recon uh, data collected from the aircraft that flew into the cyclone, we can see that the pressure has arisen because this morning it was at 996. So uh, with the rise in pressure, uh, there is weakening taking place here. And even those wind barbs, we're not seeing those purple ones anymore, indicating that the cyclone has in fact weakened. And this is going to be the trend for the next several days. And so uh, again, guys, we are still talking about a threat here, an imminent threat, uh, a dangerous situation. So again, I cannot emphasize enough uh, how much I really want everyone to be okay. okay but thankfully, it hasn't strengthened to a hurricane. Uh, so we're just dealing with a tropical storm here, but still a very dangerous situation. And now we want to go ahead and briefly talk about Depression 4. So Depression 4 is likely to become Cindy by tonight or even going into early tomorrow. So it is going to be strengthened for a bit, not expected to be a hurricane, but it will likely encounter some of that wind shear later on as we head into the early part of the new week and eventually starts to uh, start weakening. So this is not expected to bring direct impacts to the, des uh, to the Lesser Antilles, but notice that the cone widens and the center can pass anywhere within it. So it can shift a bit more south where it would possibly bring a bit of impacts to sections of the Northeastern Caribbean, or it can shift a bit more to the north where it just stays offshore. Uh, but for Bermuda, uh, there could possibly be some impacts if the cyclone should make a track uh, head into the island. And so I will keep you guys updated. Uh, this is still pretty far out. And so uh, I'm, as I said, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated. And stay tuned for tomorrow's updates where I will go into a lot more details with Brett and what to expect from that point onwards. Uh, especially for other areas such as the ABC Islands and even Jamaica. And that is it for right now. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond as soon as I can. And remember to always be weather wise.